All right, I'm in the uh, opening round of the Community Cup, the 2020 Community Cup. I'm in my uh, Audit account. This is my Prox account. And um, just, just kind of when I, <laughs> this is this is the deal. So at the beginning of the week, I always, I like, I'm always focused on like, what's the minimum score? So like, we're, you know, we're talking like minus 13, minus 14 is the minimum. If you've got lower developed stuff, um, the minus 13 is probably more realistic. But if you've got upper developed clubs, the 14, and it doesn't matter which level clubs you have, you really need to focus on the minus 14, minus 28 as the minimum score coming in. And then you have to, that gets you set up if you can shoot and you're trying to standardize this. So like every round, like the minus 28 is with your eyes closed. And what you're doing is putting yourself in the right position on every hole to try and get a plus on that hole and a plus on that hole and a plus on that hole. And every one of these pluses that you pick up, you can tack on to that. And there's none of these holes that you're going, damn, I missed that hole. And now I got to use one of these to make up the difference. You're, the minus 28 is in the bag and you're trying to build on that. That's the goal. And the, and the minus 13, um, really, like I said, we're really focused on the minus 14. And here's why I, and it's always funny because I we start getting into the open round. And the opening round, it ramps up towards the weekend round. And when I say that people, like my goal on my sheet is my uh, for my 77 accounts, minus 34 for the weekend. That is, a, that is for some people that are up at the top, <laughs> a low. Because we're going to see in the weekend round, this is going to be one of those tournaments where you're going to see 36s and you're going to see 38s. And you may see a 39. And so this score right here is like, like my minimum score that I'm looking for in the weekend round to potentially get me in the lottery to see if I can win a banner or to win the tournament. But realistically, there's just there's people out there that are going to shoot this 36. There's people out there that are going to shoot that 38. That minus that minus 18 on a side, and, and it's it's going to be absolutely wild. You're going to see these scores, but I feel like I'm I'm. I'm capable of the minus 34 and here's why how I come up with these numbers so I start off at the beginning of the week and I come up with them and then I when I'm going through the rounds like looking at where we're at this bracket that I'm in is an opening bracket this is a master it's a rookie tournament everybody in this bracket is a master or at one point was a master and when we get up we've got about half the bracket right here that has not played and we've got a few people that are in the 50s that still haven't finished their round so when we go up and we start looking at okay what's it going to take to actually make the weekend in this bracket okay we're getting to the 18s right now where we've had 18 holes played or minus 22 minus 23 so we're looking for the minus 26 as our absolute hold on one second absolutely minus 26 is the absolutely lowest score that we want to ever shoot so that we can have success towards the weekend round and let's see where we're at so Right now, with with less than half the bracket having finished, um, to at 40th place, we've got minus 24. So you know that those minus 24s are these people that have finished their round here. They're they're in big trouble. They're that's not going to work. That's not going to work out well for them. The top 30 people have already shot a 26 or better. So when you talk about hey, my minimum, you know, like minus 13 is the realistic minimum score. Um, 20 people left in this bracket and we've got 50 or 60 people or 50, a little over 50 that haven't really gotten, gotten started yet. So that minus 26, um, some of these minus 26s aren't going to make it. That's the way that that's going to work. Um, let's see where were the 27 start at 20th. So these 27s are probably safe. But it could get to the point where we got half the people that shoot 26 that aren't going to make it. 28 start at 15th place. So when you and let's just say it stopped right here and it didn't get any that this is where we were at. That means in the going into the weekend round, it's it's this bracket plus another bracket, and so that means the top 30 people coming into that bracket shot a minus 28. <laughs> and it's actually going to be worse than that. These 28s and these numbers are going to go down. And I would imagine that the 28s are probably going to go somewhere close to 25th place. So that means the top 50 people in the weekend bracket are going to have a 28 or better. So if you're trying to, so, you know, hey, I shot the minus 28, that, that'll net you a top 50 in, in a rookie master's bracket. 
and going up the scale. So the 28s go all the way into the top 10, and those will come down as, as, as more people start to play. And we're getting up towards the top, and we've got a 32, a 31, a 30. And this is in the opening round. These people are, are trying to build their stuff up. Talking about like what level they're at. First guy here, 11 billion earned, 14,000 games, 7,500 of them won. This person's been playing very high level tours to get that total earned. Take the total earned divided by two, divide that by how many games won, and that'll give you a number to kind of give you an indication of what tours that they've been hanging out at to work on their clubs. And these people have an every single person in this bracket has got an awesome set of clubs. They've been playing lots of games, and they've been playing lots of games at higher level stuff. You're going to find um, most of the people that are in this bracket are going to be billion dollars earned. And so going into the weekend, the the difference here is, is that we're, I'm going to see these high scores. Like in the weekend round, it's going to be the 32 to 36 somewhere is what it's going to take to win one of these brackets. But it's... It's not like in like Ricky Ricky or even in like the Ricky Pro where there's a few people at the top that shot great scores and then there's a gap. And then everybody else is kind of in the mortal scores. These high scores are going to be all the way up to the top. So coming in with tiebreakers is super key because there's going to be a bunch of people at 28. And there's going to be a bunch of people at 27. And there's going to be a bunch of people at 29. So coming into the weekend, you really have to start building your stuff up to – uh and my progression is I wanted a 15 with an Albi in the qualifier in my 77 account. I'm looking for a 32 in the opener today, this afternoon when I play. I'm looking for a 34 or better in the weekend round to try and ramp myself up that scale. All right, let's go look at hole number one. Hole number one is at Eagle Peak, and it is hole number two. It's par three right here. Right, I have not hit the hole in one on this, but I have been so close, so close. Sniper. And I got to make sure I really bring the right stuff because I do not have more than one bag. So if I bring a wrong club, I'm sunk. I mean, I could, you can get up there with any clubs, but the club that we're really wanting to play with. So community cup, hole number one. Here we roll. Here we roll. Zipper down. Okay, I'm going to do one per ring. 30% max right-hand side spin. Just a titch more than a quarter, maybe a third top spin. 30% wind adjustment. They've got a three wind. And they've got a marlin, so my wind's going to be a little bit less. We will see what we, kind of wind we get. I'm holding on to my little puppy in one hand and I'm uh, got my stylus in my other hand. So it's like having a little kid. Isn't it perfect? Let's see if they got the right, if they got what they're looking for. Not bad. Let's see if we can get wherever that hole is closer. What kind of wind do I got? All right. Maybe two rings off. Maximum right hand side spin. Just a little bit of top spin. Dial that sucker up to the cup. Okay, 2-4. I'm doing a 30% wind adjustment. I'm going to move 3.1 rings. Try and hit it perfect. Oh, I guess like two rings great. I should have let it go by. I was just like, I should have let it go by a couple more times. That was my bad. Damn it. Damn it.
The thing I'm liking about that is, is that I do not like that, that I hit it two rings great to the left, but the fact that I hit it two rings great to the left and it'll still dig out of that rough and not get stuck in it, that's, that's at least encouraging. So if ideally you want to hit that perfect, freaking no coffee, what's the deal? Should have, I should have drank at least two cups of coffee before I started playing. I know better. Wake up. Wake up. It's a draw. I need to turn my grid on, too. I'm totally out. I was talking this morning. I'm totally out of it. What I was thinking, I didn't even fire up all my stuff. Rookie. We'll forfeit. All right, that was hole number one. Hole number one of the 2020 Community Cup. It's not the hole one I was looking for, but I'm on. The deal is, is that you can't. We're trying to pick that shot up. I didn't pick it up. We got the birdie. We, what did we need on that hole? We need a birdie on that hole. What are we looking for? We're looking for a hole one. I didn't get the hole one. I got the birdie. Move to the next hole. On the next hole, what is it? It's par four. I'm looking for an eagle. Don't get an eagle. Minimum score, birdie. Move on to the next hole. Give yourself a shot on every hole. All right. That was hole number one of the 2020 Community Cup and the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.